Backing up your Mac is an essential component in maintaining your data. Apple provides a backup software called Time Machine to easily backup your Mac. And with extensive amounts of storage capacity and flexible network storage features, a QNAP NAS can serve as an excellent Time Machine backup repository. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to implement Time Machine backups to your QNAP NAS. Time Machine backup jobs to the QNAP NAS are managed in the Hybrid Backup Sync app. So if you haven't already done so, install the app and open it. Now select the Services tab, which is where you'll find the Time Machine section. Here you can use the checkboxes to select between using a shared Time Machine account or separate QTS accounts for Time Machine backups, in case you want to customize who has access to which Time Machine backups. I'll show you how to do both. Let's start with using the shared Time Machine account. Once you've checked the box input and access password of your choosing, select which volume you would like to use to store the backups, and choose whether or not to set a storage limit for the backups. Once you've made your selections, click Apply. At this point, we've prepared a storage space on the NAS for the backups. So the next step is to initiate the Time Machine backup job in macOS. So to do this, click the Apple icon in the upper left-hand corner, select System Preferences from the drop-down menu, and click Time Machine. Next, click the Select Disk button. Under Available Disks, select TM Backup. This is the shared backup space that we set up on the NAS. Now input Time Machine for the username and whatever password you set for the TM Backup in Hybrid Backup Sync. The backup job has now been scheduled. The initial backup may take longer, as it will have to backup everything, but in future Time Machine backups, only new data will be added. Now, let's try setting up a Time Machine backup job to be accessed with separate QTS accounts. So open Hybrid Backup Sync again, and select Access with Local QTS Accounts and click Apply. Now mount a shared folder from the QNAP that you would like to use as storage for the backup. Now go back to Time Machine in macOS. And when you click Select Disk, you'll be able to choose the shared folder that you have mounted as the storage space. You can use this second method if you want different Time Machine backups stored in different places where you can specify access permissions for various users. Time Machine helps you avoid losing your data if anything should happen to your Mac. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.